Within the next couple years, those living in the Seattle area who are looking to get a new phone number won't be able to get the classic 206. Now, 564 will be handed out to the newbies. If I saw 564 and I saw Washington, like it's from the state of Washington, I would probably be very confused because I have no idea where that area code, which part of Washington that area code is from. Other people are already using that area code in parts of western Washington. 564 was approved by the Utilities and Transportation Commission in 2000, but didn't actually need to be used until 2017, when the area code 360 started running out. Some people living in Seattle say while older area codes add a certain credibility, it doesn't really change much. You, you can have it 907 and you can live in Miami, so like it doesn't have the same... The following message is transmitted at the request of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States Department of Health and Human Services. As of the evening of June 13, 2023, cases of Gramais shake poisonings have been reported across the United States. The hardest hit states are as follows. Washington, Oregon, California, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Colorado. New Mexico, Texas, Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, Alabama, Wisconsin, Missouri, Kentucky, Virginia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Nearly 2 million cases are reported in total within these aforementioned states, with over 86% of the cases are fatalities. The victims were seen holding the plastic cup full of Gourmet's Shake which was made by McDonald's as part of the Gourmet's Birthday Meal promotion. Victims who died were often reportedly covered with a purple substance, or were seen vomiting out purple substance. In addition, there are claims from other victims who are still alive and hospitalized, who have seen hallucinations of a purple monster figure believed to be Gourmet's attacking the victims. Although unconfirmed and are still under investigation, the high number of deaths caused by the shake have caused a great deal of concern to the federal government, as these poisonings have created a danger to the public. It is unknown whether if other states will also experience these poisonings. Starting at 7 p.m. tonight, all McDonald restaurant establishments across the United States will be closed for health lockdown reasons, while the CDC and the United States Food and Drug Administration investigate both the restaurants and the Gourmet's shake for any manufacturing defects or substances mixed within the drink. The U.S. Supreme Court is also considering whether to pursue a criminal investigation of the company and is also considering whether to issue a lockdown order on all international locations. All residents are strongly advised that you stay in your homes for the rest of tonight as a health precautionary measure. Avoid traveling unless absolutely necessary. If you already have a Gourmet's Shake in your possession, do not drink the shake. Even the sip of the Gourmet's Shake could be lethal. Do not throw the product away. Dispose the drink product safely in a sealed container until local and military personnel arrive at your residence to retrieve the item. If you suspect to be experiencing the following symptoms, hallucinations, pain in the stomach, head, throat, muscles or joints, uncontrollable vomiting, and seizures, call 911. Leave your phone lines open for emergency use. Be mindful that the closure of McDonald's and the subsequent quarantine measures is temporary. Until the root cause of the Gourmet's Shake poisonings can be established, the restaurant chains will remain closed, and residents are to remain indoors and avoid traveling for non-essential reasons. To repeat, starting at 7 p.m. tonight, all McDonald restaurant establishments across the United States will be closed for the investigation. As for now, do not drink the Gourmet's Shake under any circumstances. The emergency alert system will continue to receive updates when new information is available. Stay tuned to your local television and radio station to receive further updates and later messages.